guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be filming this video. I think this is gonna be part of my makeup collection or my eyeshadow palette collection series, but it's not really like a review type thing or roundup or anything like that. I'm simply showing you some of the palettes that fit into this category that are currently in my collection. So the category I'm sure you saw in the title is green eyeshadow palettes. I love the shade green, you guys. It's one of my favorite colors. It's also my husband's favorite color. I enjoy wearing it. I enjoy putting it on my face. I enjoy a lot of plants. Like we have a huge banana leaf plant in our house. I love palm prints. I like green paint. I like green cars. Like I love green. I just love green. It's it's my favorite color. So. Anyway, <laughs> I have been noticing that all of a sudden I'm accumulating a vast amount of green eyeshadows and I don't know how it happened. For a second, the only green palette or like the real like green themed palette I had was this one by Misha Liu. I was so excited when I saw Angelica mention this in one of her Will I Buy It videos. Obviously it's not all green, but like the theme of it is very like leaning towards a very smoky green palette and so I was like really pumped when I saw it. I bought it obviously so I was like living my little green fantasy and now all of a sudden with the end of 2018 like around the corner here it seems like everyone is doing like these green themed palettes especially the indie brands I'm not complaining though at all I feel like that's gonna be the trend for 2019 all the bigger brands are gonna get on board and then everyone's gonna be rocking a green eyeshadow so just wanted to show you some of the things in my collection that feature green shadows a lot so I'm just going to show you all the green-ish themed eyeshadow palettes in my collection. Another one I thought of is this guy. This is pretty new too. This is the Feral palette, M Makeup Menagerie. And again, it's not that it's all green, but like there's a significant amount of green in this palette. Well, it's not even significant. There's three green shades in this palette, but I feel like that's kind of the theme. We've seen a lot of greens paired with really warm oranges or purples. And then this all this packaging is green and it's just like very you know, green themed and I, I live for it. I'm so here for it. Another one is this guy. This is the Huda Emerald Obsessions palette. It is so cute. Now this is different again. This is more, like there's different looks here. So there's like more of a pastel vibe. There's a true like green teal situation happening here. This is more of a cool tone green. So I love the variety in this and I love how little it is and I mean, this is like one of the first brands like at Sephora that's really doing like an all green theme palette. So that's pretty exciting. Another one in my collection is this guy. This is the Hasina 2. Again, it's not all green. As you can see, there is a significant amount of purple and blue in here as well. But again, just some nice green shadows in here. So if you're looking for a nice indie palette to check out. The Hasina is really good as well. I've heard, seen a lot of really positive reviews. I'm still playing with it so you know take don't this is not a review this is just me showing you and then of course the alien palette i just used this palette for the first time yesterday and you guys are crazy for that eye look i did so i'm very happy with myself but again just a few pops of green but it really ties the palette together i love how he paired the greens with the goals and you'll see that with the next palette as well where the greens are really tied to gold shades and i love that and i feel like that's kind of what natasha denona did to in her gold palette. Do I have it here? Let me show you. Okay, so her palette is more like gold themed, but technically this is considered a green and this, I believe, these two are like technically considered like smoky green shades, which makes sense to me, might not to you. And then I feel like this shade has a significant amount of like a green shift in it. So it it is called a gold palette, but I, I kind of feel like she definitely snuck in a few greens as well so another really great like mainstream palette that has that little bit of a green going and then what did I want to show you guys okay this is the newest green palette in my collection <laughs> I was talking to mascara cakes on Instagram we were like joking around Kara and I was like oh I bought the stupid milk palette yeah we were just talking about how many green eyeshadow palettes I've been like accumulating swiftly and she was like joking and yeah, we were just joking about how I was going to film this video and call it like the, I don't even know, like the green, I don't know. I don't know what the exact conversation was, but it was funny because I was like, I don't know why I keep buying all these marijuana themed palettes, but I like them. So 
Forget You World. Okay, so this one is all my Sydney Grace singles. This is her version of the Tarte Icy Betch palette combined with like some fall shades. I put all the greens and the blues in one palette, but like these shades, like this is the reason why I shouldn't have bought the Melt palette because I already had like a significant amount of these and I should just swatch them because like people have been like wondering if they're similar. So like tonally, here is the Sydney Grace shade. What is this shade? Ooh, try not to make a mess. It's called Mega Megalodon. Such a pretty color. It's more of a blue versus the one from the Melt palette. So that's nice. And then the other one I thought might match is this green from Sydney Grace. And that one has more of a it's like a teal green, but it has like a gold flip to it. So they're not similar actually, which is perfect for me because I feel a little less guilty. I also have this other color from Sydney Grace, which could be a dupe to like that minty color from Melt. So let's swatch that. No, it's not. They're not dupes. So that's good. I just wanted to sit here and play dupes. <laughs> I just want to sit here and play dupes today. Exciting times. Those are like most of my greens from Sydney Grace. I have a bunch of greens from Coastal Scents. So this is like the Coastal Scents Hot Pots. I bought these when they were on sale for like 99 cents because everyone like raves about them and how good they are. So I wanted to try them out. Here's some of the swatches of, uh oh, I swatched these funky. <laughs> okay, here we go. Super pretty, right? Like, but I haven't used those on my eyes. Or have I? No, I haven't used the greens. I just bought it all, put it in a palette, and never touched it. Which is why I'm basically not buying any makeup for the next two months. And then this is another palette. So I went through all my other singles and basically pulled as many of them that looked like they had, like, green hue to them. Some of them, my husband was, like, looking at this palette because I was like, look, honey, it's so pretty. And he's like, some of those are definitely blue. And I was like, whatever, okay? It's my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. It's my channel. I can do what I want. So pretty. I don't even know what half of these shades are, but they're just so pretty. And I just like wanted to make this Z palette and push myself to use some of these green shadows in my collection because they're just sitting here gathering dust. So, so pretty. Ah, I'm just living my best green life. I'm going to turn into a Martian, a little space person, and just get beamed up. You're going to beam me up because I'm obsessed. Okay, so the bougie bitch in me. Listen, they did a round three of the Sephora sale, and I was like, shit. I had stuff in my cart because I had watched all of these people's, like, unboxings. And I had stuff in my cart, and I was like, oh, I want that. And then they added... They added the Tom Ford quads onto Sephora's website, and I'm so glad. So I wanted this, and then there was like a purpley, orangey one, and they were in my cart, and I woke up in the morning, and the purpley one was gone. But I'm glad I got this. I haven't broken into this yet, but this is the Tom Ford quad in the shade Photosynthesex <laughs> number 24. These are not on the Sephora website anymore, which is problematic to me. Like, I'm worried. Like, why? Like, Mr. Tom Ford, did you sell too many eyeshadow palettes? So you, like, got mad and pulled them because you didn't get paid full price for them? Like, I'm I'm a little bit worried. I tried to look for the purpley one on, like, Nordstrom. I didn't see it there. Um, it's not like I have an extra $80 to, like, buy these full price, but this bitch is bougie, and I am going to definitely film like one of these first impressions with it. People complain about Pat McGrath. Like, at least you're getting 10 eyeshadows for 100 and whatever. This is four shadows for $80. Like, I need to know what the hype is about, if the hype is real. The compact is definitely bigger than I pictured, so that's good. It's classy AF. So if I got it like a neutral one, like if I was a badass bitch and like I had a corporate job in New York City, like I feel like I would just get like a neutral one of these and just like do my makeup like fantastically, you know, every day for work, same color. <laughs> Living my best life, y'all. Anyways, that is it. I just wanted to show you guys some of the green palettes that have been creeping into my eyeshadow palette collection, like a little gremlin. I've also really been into berries and yeah, just a lot of berries, mustards, goals. Like, you know, it's the, it's that time of year. It's like fall giving us the the vibes, the fall vibes, I don't know. And yeah, 
Uh, I got a comment from Makeup Struggles in my Black Friday video and she's like, your makeup look is sickening and I was like, I can die happy now. You guys, Makeup Struggles said my eye look was sickening, okay? That never happens. <laughs> Cause I'm such a neutral bitch and her, Shy has the coolest eye look. So if you guys don't follow her, you should. But I'm gonna get the fuck out of here and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I upload every other day at like 7 a.m. But I'm trying to switch it to like 6.45 a.m. Because I, I've noticed like a lot of YouTubers have started uploading at 7 a.m. I don't know if they caught on to like my Kool-Aid. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like uploading early in the morning because that's when I watch YouTube. I watch YouTube when I'm getting ready. So leave me some feedback down below. If you like the 7 a.m., I'll keep it at 7 a.m. But I don't want to get lost in like all the videos I posted at 7 a.m. either. So let me know some feedback. But yeah, usually every other day at 7 a.m. Yeah, so I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye, guys.